So prices soared, dreams were shattered, and China and the cartels sent fentanyl across the border, adding addiction to the heartache. But ladies and gentlemen, that is not the end of our story. We've heard about villains and their victims. I've talked a lot about that, but let me tell you about the future. President Trump's vision is so simple and yet so powerful. We're done, ladies and gentlemen, catering to Wall Street. We'll commit to the working man. We're done importing foreign labor. We're going to fight for American citizens and their good jobs and their good wages. We're done buying energy from countries that hate us. We're going to get it right here from American workers in Pennsylvania and Ohio and across the country. We're done sacrificing supply chains to unlimited global trade, and we're going to stamp more and more products with that beautiful label, Made in the USA. We're going to build factories again, put people to work making real products for American families made with the hands of American workers. Together, we will protect the wages of American workers and stop the Chinese Communist Party from building their middle class on the backs of American citizens. Together, we will make sure our allies share in the burden of securing world peace. No more free rides for nations that betray the generosity of the American taxpayer. Together, we will send our kids to war only when we must. But as President Trump showed with the elimination of ISIS and so much more, when we punch, we're going to punch hard. Together, we will put the citizens of America first, whatever the color of their skin. We will, in short, make America great again.